this is Raw Rinson official and we are back with UFC 3 what what if I became a pro now uh, series even though it's a career mode um, so at the moment I'm just gonna pick up a uh, pick a fire and thankfully I'm not playing the same person as last time I actually do want a challenge so I'll face grappler on this fight to be fair I will be much superior in this uh, grappling now we have 76,000 uh, I did again end up getting the tattoo this time it has it, it is a sleeve uh, we'll be training for four weeks uh, so so I did get my character sleeve, as you will see here. Uh, just on my left arm. Uh, yeah, that's really about it. To be fair. Right, let's go on with the training then. Uh, just got to promote some more. Um, just use the big thirty because I can't. Can he be bothered? Um, you know what? If that's already good as it is. So that's good. Still. Working. Back into it now. Uh, we'll go one this time. Uh, oh, I've got a snap. One moment, please. It's a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, what a pop from the crowd as this guy makes the walk. Such a well-rounded fighter, and you got to think when the opponent breaks him down on film, not a lot of weaknesses jump out of the video. This is a true mixed martial artist. May not stand out in any one area, but plus skills across the board. Probably comfortable just about anywhere this fight goes tonight. This guy is very well-rounded. He literally has no weaknesses in his game. He is technical in all areas of mixed martial arts. Right, here we go. Alright, so here he is, really for my money, as accomplished a submission specialist and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner as has crossed into the UFC in years. We'll see how quickly tonight he can get this fight to the ground and utilize his high-level submission skills. Outstanding choke game. A lot of different chokes in his repertoire. We'll see if he can get him going tonight. This guy is an elite submission fighter. What he wants to do is get this fight to the ground where he will have a distinct advantage over his opponent. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of four wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, the Cannon. Now, we'll see his opponent fighting at the red corner. 
a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of five wins, two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall. Why does it seem that every fight I've fought against is from Coconut Creek? All right, just about ready for live action as we get underway here at Juness Arena in Rio. Well, that's fucking disrespectful, isn't it? Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. And big elbows land flush. In the north-south again. And back to his feet. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Looks like he grabbed a choke here. He's securing the arm, clamps it down, he's got to get that leg free. He's got that arm trapped. Come on. He's got that pretty good, that's pretty tight. Oh, and shit. Gets out. Wow, that was a deep choke. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides. Oh, he's got hurt here. Oh, that's stuck. Oh, he's out. Fuck yeah, now. <laughs> Huge uppercut for the win. Nearly had that one. Nearly had that one. Choke, but you know what? Not how we do. His opponent crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack Jeez. of an opening. And I missed that one. Right through it to get the knockout. Let's take a look at it again. I completely missed. How could he not uh, fully knock down here. that one? Boom. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is what <laughs> hey. they will be talking about. For now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliot has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 12 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by... So there's the man of the moment. Just the way he drew yes, it up man. here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure. His next fight will be a big one, <coughs> and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight. Do I get performance bonus? No, that's bullshit. That was bullshit, that was a great performance. Oh, I swear to God. <clears throat> Yay. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Positive tweets. That is just great. <laughs> hey. Yeah, that <laughs> that shot, I completely missed. Yeah, all right, mate. Fuck it off. <laughs> Uh, right, another fight. We are going to be fighting against. I don't know. Dennis Smith, Emmanuel Fernandez, and Gregor de Groot. I like the name Groot, so I'm going to fight Groot. <laughs> Um, yeah, the training camp, obviously. Right. Another fight to go, and medium fight hype, which has been our high, highest so far. Uh, so, yeah, let's go to the next fight. Uh, we'll be in the black this time. <clears throat> uh, is there anything else? Is it done? Yay. Boo! Fuck you, Alden. <laughs> uh, Woody's fine. Um. Alright, coming up next is the UFC lightweight.
division bout. Well, what a pop from the crowd as this guy makes the walk. Such a well-rounded fighter, and you got to think when the opponent breaks him down on film, not a lot of weaknesses jump out of the video. This is a true mixed martial artist. May not stand out in any one area, but plus skills across the board. Probably comfortable just about anywhere this fight goes tonight. This guy... So, Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, we have to start with the kicking technique. It's excellent. Doesn't telegraph anything. Gets his... And now our tail of the tape for this go. lightweight fight. Four years apart with similar height and reach. Well, he's taller. And... All right, ready to go with live UFC action. Good to have you with us as we broadcast live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. Well, it's good to see this man. Whoa! He hurt him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Don't know south. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Mount, full mount. Armbar. Still holding the back. I uh, made a mistake. Man, the submission attempts keep on coming. Going for a choke now. Okay, fuck myself over that one. I'll go for it again. Working on another submission attempt here. Come on. Whenever there we you go. a rear naked choke, tuck the chin, turn the head towards the choke. Ah, uh, fuck myself over oh, again. Lost it. That's a nice clean shot. Okay. He survived, got back to his feet. That one hurt. Nice. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. Caught him with a punch. Oh, oh shit. Shouldn't have done that. This could be it right here to stun him. Huge shots there. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that bears watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. Again, going back to the well with the jab. Yeah, he shot the head, he's done. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he tapped him. Oh, no. No, fam. Seriously. Beautiful that was a good armbar to be fair. And a beautiful job in getting that submission. Yeah, that is high-level stuff out of him there, Joe, to finish the submission. It's one thing to get the dominant position. It's another thing to close the show. And he certainly did that here tonight. That's a big one. And here's the end. Jesus. And here it is again. Absolutely perfectly executed. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. <clears throat> Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement that as he could have made here tonight. To Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest. At three minutes, going to go for the knockout, then next the thing you know, I accidentally fucking press L2. Well, the celebration is uh, the then fucking took his arm. Jesus. Here tonight. He told us during fight week that he needed to prioritize a finish here. Decisions were not going to be enough to take his career where he wants to take it and expeditiously. So, gets the submission tonight. Right, when? Now the celebration is on. There have got to be few things in all of pro sports as satisfying than to be able to celebrate a UFC win with your coaches and training partners. And thankfully for this young man, now that is all that is left to do. Well, that should be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is Raw Rinse and Official, and I will chat to you all later.